I, mean, I have to confess, Parveen was my favourite character within um, in the film. And not only that, when I interviewed Jason over the phone a few weeks ago, I thought, I'll take a risk. And I said, which character you have a soft spot for? And there was this silence. And I was like, please say Parveen. He said Parveen. Oh, well, that's amazing to know, yeah. Do you know what? She was an absolute blast to play. When I read that script for the first time, it was just like, this is a treat. This is something that you've just got to go full on for. So, yeah. Um, that's great to hear that Jason thinks so too because it was just so much fun so much fun an active dream and has she got some parts of you in her? can I admit this? yeah, yeah, no I, there is something about me that it can be a bit of a wild child but um, I don't think I'd go as crazy as to nick a 1982 Rolls Royce and drive it onto the beach whilst kidnapping someone I don't think I'd go that far <laughs> It was a sort of beautiful love and doom filled moment, wasn't it, as you headed towards the sea? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. And that was, you know, it was an iconic scene of, you know, Bonnie and Clyde, you know, we're gonna we're gonna die together, you know, because we love each other and that's what lovers do and it was hilarious, absolutely hilarious. I have to say I would really like a sequel with um, Pete and Parveen in about fifteen years. Amazing, yes, I'm totally up for that. Because I don't think um, she will have let him leave her. <laughs> I think somehow he's always going to be in her life without one way or another. So even though the family know that she's not an elective mute anymore, I I feel like actually she'll worm her way back into his life some way or another. I love that you said she wouldn't let him leave. (laughs) Well, this is the thing, you know, it's so parving, it's so parving. And she just, he's like her adventure. The the thing about Pete is it's her ticket to, you know, Everything that she's dreamed of doing, she gets to do it with him. So there was no boundaries, was there, with her. So, yeah, it was great. What I thought, she reminded me of um, a character from Harry Potter when they first get their wand. Like, you know, she's just becoming a woman but doesn't quite know how to wield this power that she has. Well, this is the thing, and it's like her first opportunity to actually do what she wants to do and get away with it. So she, she takes the opportunity and she just runs with it, and, yeah... It, it, was, it was absolutely hilarious, but so much fun as well. Um, a, a confession to make here was the first scene that we filmed was the photo booth scene where she kisses him. Now, Jason told me to kiss him, but Jack didn't realise that that was going to happen, and we got it in one take because he was genuinely shocked that I just sat kissing him in between the dialogue, so that was hilarious. That's probably how most first kisses happen. <laughs> yeah. Just grab them in a photo, because we've all got like that leftover from years ago absolutely absolutely yeah it was hilarious and the the you know the cast and crew who was on set at the time absolutely howled because poor jack didn't realize it was it was about to happen <laughs> and what was it like working with him because in some ways they're, they're such a sweet couple because they're both kind of finding their way they're both quite um uh show off is the wrong word but they're both they, they put on an air of confidence that they probably don't have yeah, and I think, obviously, because they're quite young as well, they don't have that life experience, but what they have is that passion for something, yeah. and I think that really shows between both characters. And what was great was, actually, when I went for the casting for Parveen, um, what was great was we improvised a lot in the audition, and I just went for it, and there was no... Again, it was about having no boundaries and just making Jack and Pete feel uncomfortable as much as possible. <laughs> And, I was, and some of the lines, actually, what I did in the audition actually got to the script, which is brilliant. Because I always think with, um, with improvisation, I mean, I'd be, I'd be terrified, but, yeah. it, you know, is it, is it, especially with all these well-known actors and comedians, was it scary at all, or was it just like, this is my big chance? Absolutely. The latter, yeah. It was my big chance, just because, as an actor, that's how, I, that's how I'm creatively stimulated. Like, that's the way I like to approach a character. I read a script and then I try and embody it in how I play it personally and then we go back to the script. Yeah. And the fact that I was able to do that in the audition was perfect for me. Yeah, yeah. And it's a very much a kind of family film in the sense, you know, it's all, it's all families. It's, you know, including, um, you know, Ray and Amy as well as your, your very, very big family. Were they like a family with you on set? I mean, oh, were they yeah. kind of looking after you? Without a doubt, without a doubt. The thing, what was really nice was everybody was really passionate about the film. They wanted it to be brilliant. Every single person really invested their time and energy and effort. And, you know, you've work, I've worked, you know, in some situations before where that hasn't happened. And But what, what was lovely about Eating by Lions was everybody was just raring to go and wanted it to be the best it can be. So, no, it, it certainly was. It was great. Loved it. (laughs) Thank you very much. Thank you.